How was it? <laughs> Wait, what? Is it that good? Best dessert I've ever had. Oh shoot, what kind of popcorn is this? No Did way. You tell me that's not the best popcorn you've ever had before. Wow. They just sell this at the movies. Million dollar idea right here. So we've been really bored, and I'm sure you've been bored as well. And one thing we've been doing a lot is eating. But we came across these really cool food hacks that you can try at home. And we thought if you're gonna be bored and eating, why not take it to the next level with some of these cool food hacks? If you like food and you're excited for this video, then go down below and get this video a like. All right, let's get started. All right, so for this food hack right here, it's actually really simple, but it looks really tasty. Okay, so it looks like you just need a few eggs, a tortilla, and you cook it. Once it's done, you flip it around, put some ham or turkey on it, some cheese, flip it back around, and you have made yourself a quesadilla. It looks like a quesadilla. I don't or like even know what it's called, a tortilla, burrito. burrito. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that actually looks really tasty. And, uh, and yeah, we're gonna show you guys how this is done. So all you're gonna need for this is some eggs, some shredded cheese, some seasoning, some uh, turkey or ham, whichever one you want, and and a large tortilla. So you wanna start by cracking three eggs open. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh oh, got some on the table. Look at that. All right, once you have the three eggs in the bowl, next step is to whisk the eggs. All right, now what you wanna do before you put the eggs in is I like to spray some cooking oil on it. We have it on medium heat and you're gonna wanna pour your eggs in like this. Okay, so the next step is to put the tortilla over the eggs like this. There we go. Oh, that was perfect. Look yeah, at that. Like that. Oh, you want to So now all you need to do is wait for the eggs to stick to the tortilla and then you flip it over when that's done. One, two, two three. Oh, oh look, look at how that. Good that looks. That looks so good. Okay, so now you want to place your choice of meat on top of the eggs like this. Honestly. You know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, this is homemade. Some Next, you want to add some seasoning. You want to add some shredded cheese to it like this. All right, so once you get done adding all the toppings, you want to flip it twice like this. First one is about like this, and then you want to take the other half. Ah. Okay, so we just flipped it, and honestly, this looks pretty good to me. And let's put it on a plate right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Bold that appetite. Is, that is so big. Okay, so we went ahead and made another one, except his isn't as good. He burnt it. Dude, look at this. <laughs> Guys, look how good this looks. All right. Alan. We're gonna take a taste test at the same time. All right, three, Ready, two, two, one. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so good. Oh my gosh. I could eat this for breakfast every single day. This is definitely one of my favorite food hacks that I've ever tested before. And I would highly recommend that you guys try this out as well. Very easy, yet very tasty. So this right here is really gonna impress your family and friends. It's the perfect dessert for movie night with your family. It can feed up to five people more than a family. It's super delicious and yummy. You know what, let's just, yeah, let's just show you guys it. So basically, you just need cookie dough, Oreos, Reese's, Kit Kats, Hershey's, and more cookie dough. And you put it inside of an oven pan and then put it inside the oven, let it bake, and there you go. You have a cookie. I don't even know what it's called, a cookie. It's a mega dessert cookie, cookie blast. Candy. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this is some Kit Kats, some cookies and cream Hershey's, some Reese's, Oreos, and some cookie dough of your choice. Okay, so first step, you wanna add the cookie dough inside the oven pan. And now, you just wanna go ahead and uh, mush it together, like this. All right, this is how it should look when you get done mashing the cookie dough inside the oven pan. So we're gonna be putting the Oreos into this bottom left corner right here. Okay, so now you wanna add the Reese's into the other bottom corner. There you go. Oh, that, that looks perfect. perfect. All right, so now we're gonna be adding the Kit Kats in this corner. I'm gonna do like that. Okay, so the last snack that we're gonna be adding to this is the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Okay, so now that all the treats are added in, we're gonna to top it off with some more cookie dough. And um, now I'm just leveling it out and putting the finishing touches to it. And honestly, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so after you have everything done, you wanna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And after it's 350 degrees, you wanna add it inside the oven and leave it in there for, ah! And then you wanna let it bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it smells really nice. Whoa, look at that. Okay, get it out, Alan. I'm trying to eat it. Look at that. Okay, so this last step is optional, but we are gonna add some whipped cream to it just for some extra flavor and some decorations. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? All right, three, three two, two, one. Why is it so good? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. It's like a bazooki. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna gain 100 pounds just by eating this. Ooh, here we go. You can see the Oreos and everything too. Look at this. All right, we should honestly quit eating, but we're about to have friends over later. We're gonna force them to finish this for us. All right, so earlier we said we had some friends come over and help us finish our dessert. And Let's try this out. How is it? Wait, what? Is it that good? Is it that good? Oh 
laughing. It's from laughing. It is? Best dessert I've ever had, promise. Right, don't eat too much because I gotta eat some too. <laughs> Okay, so this one right here, it just shows that you've been eating popcorn wrong your whole life. So while you're bored and watching TV, you're also eating some of your favorite snacks. Some of that may include popcorn or Skittles, but why not just combine them into one like this right here? So basically, you just put some oil and some Skittles into a pan. You pour the popcorn seeds onto the pan, put the lid over it and let it cook. And you let it sit until all the corn is popped. And oh my gosh, imagine eating that while watching your favorite show. You, you can't beat that. That's so good. All right. So you want to start by putting a lot of oil in the pan. Now the next step, you want to put a lot of Skittles in there. And then after all of that, you want to go ahead and add the popcorn kettle inside of here, like this. You want to put a lot. Okay, now after all of that, you want to mix it around like this. Oh my gosh, it's starting to pop. Look at it. It's popping. Oh my oh gosh. My all God. right, let's put the lid over. Oh my God. Ah! Wow, did you see the fire? Popcorn's burning. Ah, the popcorn's burning. Oh, oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa! What is going on? Whoa, this is actually coming out looking really, really good. I think it's ready. All right, open it up and. <gasps> wow! Oh my gosh! Look how yummy that looks! Oh my looks. gosh, look how good this looks! Oh shoot, can I try one? Oh, yeah, do you want to go ahead and try Wait. one? You scared me! Oh, how is it? Oh shoot, what kind of popcorn is this? It's Skittle popcorn. No way. You tell me that's not the best popcorn you've ever had before. Holy crap. They should sell this at the movies. Million dollar idea right here. This is the best popcorn I've ever tasted before. This is what, what the okay. heck? This Why has no one thought of this yet? And I would definitely recommend trying it out. It's super easy to make, also super satisfying and rewarding. So yeah, give this one a shot. Okay, so this food hack right here might look kind of weird, but if you like hot Cheetos, then this is definitely gonna be one of the most delicious life hacks you're ever gonna see. Okay, so it looks like you just put some shredded cheese onto a pan, some hot Cheetos, break and some eggs over it, eggs. let it cook, and what? That looks so good. So basically that is a cheesy egg hot Cheeto burrito. Omelet. No, 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 it's a, it's a hot Cheetos omelet. All right, so as we mentioned for the Cheetos omelet, you're obviously gonna need Cheetos, some cheese, and, and some, some eggs. All right, we're starting with the egg. There we go, just, we gotta crack it perfectly like I just did. All right, and now we're gonna add the cheese. Lots of it. And now we're gonna let the cheese and eggs cook for about a minute before we add the hot Cheetos. All right, and now we're just gonna add in the two eggs on top. And now you're just gonna wanna let it sit and cook for a few minutes and we will come back and check on that when it's ready. All right, so it's been about a minute now, so we're gonna check up on the omelet and oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, it does. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, so now what you wanna do is you wanna flip it in half like this. All right, so we're gonna flip it now to the other side and let that side cook for a few seconds. Oh uh, guys, you have no clue how good this smells. All right, so now we're gonna put the omelet onto our plate. It is ready to be eaten. Well, now before we add a little bit of seasoning to it. And what I meant by seasoning is extra hot Cheetos with it. And now we're gonna cut it in half. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. All right, here we go. Dude, Whoa. this is good! This is good! I have never tasted anything like this. This is so like, this is a very unique tasting um, food. It's so good. If you like hot Cheetos, cheese, and eggs, then this is the perfect food for you. Andrew, you want a piece of it? Let's try it. Let's see what the hype's about, maybe. What do you think? Mm. Right? Oh my god. All right, this one right here is for dessert lovers. Okay, uh, let's check it out. So you're gonna need some cookies and cream Hershey's. You're gonna wanna like, rip them all into pieces like that. Put it inside a measuring cup, get some heavy cream. Put it inside the microwave for, for a minute. minute. Stir it around a little bit with a spoon. Oh, that looks so good. That already looks good. I would just drink that. And you put it inside an ice cube tray and you freeze it. Now you have lava cubes. But you can take it to the next step, put in some cake mix, and some water, and drop the Hershey's cube inside of that. Microwave it for a minute, and bon appetit. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's cream that came out of it. That, that looks, looks so good. Okay, so to start this one out, this is all you're gonna need. You're gonna need some Hershey's cookies and cream chocolate, some heavy whipping cream, and a cup. We're using a measuring cup just because. You wanna go ahead and take the cookies and cream Hershey's out. You wanna break it into a few pieces like this. Wait, ah, there we go, that works. There we go. Drop it in the cup, add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Not too much, keep in mind. That's good. And we're gonna take this and put it in a microwave for one minute. All right, and now we wait. All right, now, ooh, we wanna take this over here. Stir it around a little bit. That smells so good. After you stir it around and blend it evenly like this, go ahead and pour it in some ice cube trays. Ooh, 
Look at that, perfect. So we wanna let this sit in the freezer until it becomes chilled. And there we go. Now we're just gonna let it sit in there until it becomes chilled. Okay, so while we're waiting for the Hershey's to set, we're gonna go ahead and pour in the cake mix. And you just wanna empty the whole bag in. All right, and now we're gonna add four teaspoons of water. There we go. And now you're gonna wanna stir it around for 30 seconds until it's well blended. And um, while we're stirring it around, in our last video we mentioned we'll be giving this away. All you have to do to enter was subscribe and turn on our post notifications and comment down when you're done. And we were supposed to pick out a winner today, but the person we chose to give it away to ended up not replying. So we're gonna be picking out a new winner in our next video. Okay, so the Hershey's is finally set and now we're gonna mix the Hershey's inside of the cake mix. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna blend it around and once it's blended, we're gonna go ahead and microwave it for a minute. Here we go, that looks pretty blended. All right, now we wait the minute. All right, so it's been a minute and let's go check up on it. Here we go. Oh, this looks good, look at it. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a second. This is some chocolate cake right here. Now, the next step you want to do is you want to put the cup on a plate. That flip way. it upside down. That way, when you pick it up, it will all come out. Oh my gosh, look how good that oh. looks. Look how good this looks. So this is a hot chocolate fudge cake. And look what happens when you stick your spoon inside of it. Oh my gosh, look this at that. This is so good. Okay, all right, then let's take a bite and let us see how it comes out like. This is so good. What is this? Oh my gosh. Why don't they serve this at restaurants? We're gonna have to open our own restaurant. Whoa. Where has this been my entire life? So if you like dessert, then this next food hack is perfect for you. So just some cookies, um, some milk, stir it around a little bit inside your cup, put it in the microwave, and after that you got some, what is that even? That's I'm some, not even sure what that, I don't probably not even a name for that, but that honestly looks really good. Okay, well let's try this one out. All right, so we have the cookies, the cup, and some milk, and the first step is to get the cookies out and place them in the cup, and what you wanna do is you wanna break the cookies and put them inside of it. All right, next step, we're gonna add a little bit of milk, not too much. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and stir it around with a fork or a spoon. Until it gets to like a slushy-like substance. All right, so now you wanna put this in a microwave for about one minute. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. There we go. Oh, look at this. Let's check out the inside of that. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. Yes. Whoa, this is good. Mm. All right, so for this next hack right here, it's more of a, it's like a bonus hack we threw in there. It's not really a food hack. It's more of a life hack. Um, exactly. Uh, it's Fairly simple. All you have to do is subscribe and turn on our post notifications. And that way you'll never be hungry, you'll never be bored, and you'll never miss one of our videos. And that is definitely something that I can go home with. That is a win-win for everybody. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give this video a like. And if you want to watch more of our videos, click right here. Yeah, with that being said, we will see you guys next time.